Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm just going to do a quick video on my contacts. A few weeks ago, I told you I finally went to the eye doctor. I usually go about once a year, but for some reason, I, I think my appointment was when one of my children were sick. So, then when I ran out of contacts, I had to go, which is funny because I never let myself run out. And I knew I had another pair, and I ended up finding them after I went to the doctor, which is how it goes. But I was telling you that I was having trouble. I'm 41, and I think about at this age, you start having trouble seeing. Like, I put my contacts in to see far away, but then it got to the point where I couldn't see up close with my contacts in. And my options were to take my contacts out, which is what I would do at night. I would wash my face, take my contacts out, put my glasses on to watch TV, but then if I had a magazine or a book to read, I would have to so, take my glasses off. I ended up going to the eye doctor and my vision had gotten worse. And they did that thing where they gave me a card and told me how you know far I could see just at this, you know, by good arm's length. And um, so I got my prescription last change contacts that I had, which I've been wearing these for years were the Biofinity and both eyes were the minus 1.75 and it looks like the it's got 8.6, 14.0 and 1.75 here on these and I love these. I believe they're two week two week contacts. I'm not sure. This whole video I thought about like really researching all this stuff but really what I want you to do is if you're interested do some research on your own and go to your eye doctor, which you would have to anyway, I think. But um, I don't want you to just, because everybody's eyes are different, we're shaped different, we have different needs, and um, I don't want you to just take it from me. I'm just going to put this information out there and um, you research on it. So these were the ones I was using, and I'm pretty sure they're two-week lenses. Now, I do not sleep in my contacts. If I fall asleep in my contacts, it will wake me up and I will have to pull them out of my eyes, which they feel like they're glued in there, and I take them out. Even if it's even if I wake up and it's time to get up, I'll take them out for a little while because I cannot stand that feeling. So I do take them out. So sometimes mine might last a little bit more than two weeks. You'll start to feel when they get dirty. They'll just start feeling yucky in your eyes. They just won't feel so good. So these, this is what I used to use. Now the new ones, Okay, let me back up. John had the same issue. He is 10 years older than I am, and he just started having the whole close-up issue a nice, couple years big, ago. strong, healthy guy. And um, he, he has aged well. His parents aged well. But um, what they did for him was they did the whole, I'm sure you've heard of this, where they fix one eye to see distance well, and then they fix the other eye to see up close. And your brain just has to adjust to that vision. And he had a really hard time with it. He really had bad headaches, and I remember him complaining. And, you know, at that point, I really didn't, I wasn't experiencing the same thing he was, so I couldn't understand why he was even going through it. But now I do, because it's irritating when you can't read a nail polish or you can't read something, you know, with your contacts and in. And that so did not appeal to me. I did not want to do that whole, you know, one for distance, one for close-up, if I didn't have to. But I also didn't want to wear reading glasses. So this was the option that they gave me. And it is they are called Biofinity Multifocal Lenses. And here they are. And my boxes are ugly because we had to cut out the proof of purchase type things to send in for a rebate. I think it was like a $40 rebate. And John and I are the people that they can't stand because we will do our rebates. <laughs> doesn't matter what I have to click on, print out, or fill out, we will do our rebates because I love getting those rebate checks. I think I just feel like that's so neat. So anyway, we did our rebates and um, that's why the boxes are ripped like this. But one thing that did happen is I had to go up in one eye and then stay the same in the other. And I believe my right eye went up to, um, yeah, my left eye is still 175 but my right eye went up to 2.0. And she said that was my good distance eye anyway, so however that works. Okay, the best way I know how to describe how these lenses work, the multifocal is, 
she told me that there were bands in these built into these lenses and one band is for distance the next band will be for close-up the next band for distance the next band for close-up so your eyes will be looking through all those bands and your brain which the human body is just it's so miraculous I mean the things that it can do the brain will learn how to look through those bands and be able to see distance and close-up now she gave me those lenses and told me to wear them a week and see if they bothered me and then she would order them from day one I have not had a problem they feel good I see good and they have not given me a headache they have I mean I can read things now I'm sure that my vision is not as good as you know somebody with 2020 up close but I have not had to take my contacts out at night to look at a magazine I've been able to read some labels to you guys and um, it's just been really really nice so I do think that you should check into this if you have this problem so um, I will put the name and everything of these it's the Aquaform Comfort Science each box has six lenses from Cooper, Vis Cooper Vision um, Biofinity and um, so I'll put all the information to these below and then you can kind of you know tell your doctor I know I checked with Costco to see if they carried them because you can order your contacts through Costco and they did you just have to order them they don't have them right there in that case I ended up just going through my doctor's office because with the way my insurance is it just worked out better to go there you know I have like an allowance and all that kind of stuff you know so I hope that helps some of you I had several people ask me how I liked them and everything like that so I hope this helps some of you and that's what's neat about this is being able to share this good stuff because I never knew they existed so I'm going to do a very quick very casual outfit, outfit of the day, day is the ever popular black t-shirt that I wear all the time this is from Express and um, it's the one I just got last summer just their everyday tee these are some of the sweatpants that I got from Victoria's Secret on sale and these are these were some that I almost didn't get because I thought the color was too loud, but I really like them. Um, they're turquoise, and they're the, let me put the camera down so you can see the bottom. But I like that they're, they're just full. The leg is just full, and um, this really doesn't bother me. I know some people don't like labels, but I like labels. And then I just have on my Haviana flip-flops. I actually ordered a black pair, and they sent the wrong size, so I've got to send those back to Zappos and um that's it for accessories i just have on these um bcbg earrings that i've enjoyed so much i don't have on any rings um just my watch my michael kors watch and i have people still ask me about this and i got this at the um, fossil outlet in myrtle beach south carolina and um fossil makes michael kors watches so you can find other watches like this made by Fossil. I know if you look up leather watches on Zappos, there are several styles that are similar to this in Fossil and Marc Jacobs. But I believe this one is discontinued. Um, nail polish is one that I just tried for the first time and I've worn it for two days now so it's not looking its best. But um, Natra Tana had this on the other day and told me about it. It is the Sally Hansen uh, Complete Manicure in Midnight in New York, number 670. And it looks like it's plain black, but I don't know if you'll ever be able to see that it has like teeny tiny, not even glitter, but like little teeny tiny shimmer in it. And it's so pretty. It looks like the night sky when you look at it. It's just gorgeous. And it just takes that edge off of it being solid black. But I think it would look really pretty on toes, too, because there's just something about black polish on toes. If you haven't tried it and you don't think it's going to look gothic or anything, just give it a try. Even on your big toe, it looks pretty in, you know, wintertime open toes and stuff like that. And fragrance today I have on is the Prada Candy. And I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.